this series of videos, I take off to share my experience at Group Island Spirit Sailing School. I travel from Guam all the way to Phuket, Thailand. Here I attend for a solid 10 days of education. As the days go by, we learn how to function as a team of competent crew members. We learn how to dinghy, trim the sails, take the helm, and I even learn how to dock in the rain. We stay in the gorgeous crew housing where we enjoy classroom time and meals together. The classroom learning is very thorough, including paper charting, navigation, and my favorite, planning your route to your next adventure. We set sail in both a monohull for day lessons, then move on to the island spirit catamaran for a three night excursion. This is where all our skills are put to the test. We soak up some sun and scenery, explore the culture and food, and make some lasting memories and friendships. This channel is funded by YouTube ads and the support of my patrons. Please hit that subscribe button now and let's go have some fun on the water. All right, it's our last day. We're heading in. We have to go back to the real world. We gotta go back to the hospital. Um, it's been a great trip. Uh, I'm super excited about saying I'm a skipper now. I got a certification. Yeah. <laughs> Feels great. Um, it's been nice to be on a boat again. It's been a while. And yeah, very fulfilling out here in Thailand. Teaching this student how to, how to be a skipper. Hi. Thanks, what yeah, what oh, up, babe? No, 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 That's a much. definite yes. I'll be, yeah, I can be your skipper, no problem. That's from Motorboat Explorer right there. It is our last morning on the boat and the water, which is always bittersweet for me. What you see us passing and what I am on the lookout for are fish and crab pots. You don't want to get them wrapped up in your prop. My journey to sailing school was to fill in the gaps of my sailing experience. I have been on a liveaboard situation for over two years. In those two years, I've completed over 20,000 nautical miles. I came to sailing school to practice taking the helm in all situations, including on and off the dock, berthing, coming into the fuel dock, and more. Back in neutral. And reverse with the port engine. Back to neutral. Lock light. And then forward with the starboard. Back to neutral, stern with the port, back to neutral, this is awesome, that'll do, they can pull it the rest of the way, okay. jeez I can't believe you reached for the camera, absolute <laughs> lunatic. I just realized it is there. I'm nearly there. I just well, I was stressing, man. Well, I wanted to. If you don't get on camera, it didn't happen. Give me a high five. Come on, Captain Morgan. Jeez, insane. Making me crazy. I did it. I barked a catamaran. 
I wanted this opportunity on a yacht for the first time other than on my own. Group Island Spirit Sailing School met my goals. I left more confident, all questions answered, and an IYT certified bareboat skipper. All right, well, I did it. I can drive, I can park, I can navigate, I can read the clouds. I can do many more things now. And I can call on the radio to the marina. So that's slam dunk for me. And I got to do it all on an Island Spirit Catamaran in Thailand. Woo! Say hello to your new skipper, Laura. All right, sailing school, that's a wrap. We're back to the dock. Now it's just time for beer 30. We got to celebrate as a crew together from start to finish. The last 10 days have been excellent. Come to Thailand, Island Spirit Catamaran. You can do the Zero to Hero course. You can do your captain's course. You can do a rescue course. You can do anything here. They got it all set up. You can either go to like Koh Chang area. You can go to Phuket like I did, or you can go to Pattaya. They've got three different schools and three different locations. All right, well, we're all packed up. I'm not gonna get sad yet. We got one more day. Years and miles. <laughs> I think you end it today. I do have to say, though, I had the most fun with you guys. And I'm not lying, I know I keep saying it every day. But you're my favorite crew ever. You really were. <laughs> After the long flight home, the only way to spend my last time in Guam was to check out a new place, and I chose Emerald Valley. Emerald Valley is a beautiful turquoise waterway. Emerald Valley offers a short but narrow walk through a waterway that stretches out into the Philippine Sea. It lays between two land masses filled with green lush jungle and boulders along the coast. As you walk alongside, you can see through the crystal clear views of the ocean floor, and it's filled with many fish. I sat down here to reflect on all the time that I spent in Guam. Here are some of my favorite memories. Guam will always hold a special place in my heart. The place I'll remember with the happiest patients, the most helpful people, and beautiful views all around. After living aboard boats for over the last two years, sharing my life and giving up most of my privacy on YouTube, I needed this time on land to have a role in the community and to feel needed. I needed a routine, I needed self-growth, I needed a fresh start, and I needed to nurse. 